Howdy YouTubers, it's GX Bob coming from you live from Southern California where the women have no morals and there's plenty of money growing in everybody's backyard. Today we are going to do some major work on the GX460. It's, it's a very small task for you to do but it's going to immensely improve your GX460 from today on Ford. It's something that people often overlook but trust me guys if you guys just follow this advice towards the end you guys are gonna thank me for it. Well there's gonna be one or two of you that's gonna hate my guts regardless uh, for, for whatever reason like your mom hates you or never hugged you or something but for those 95% of you that like my videos this one's for you guys. Right now we are going to pick up a day laborer and you know where to pick them up from we're gonna to go to Home, Be Home Depot pick up somebody cheap and affordable to help us out on our GX 460 and I'm gonna show you how to find these people you're gonna to try to find the best looking one the hardest working and the most honest one you can find out of a whole lineup of day laborers at Home Depot and how you spot them out is most likely the best ones always wear a straw hat and they always have facial hair that's how you find out if they're hard working or not okay so let's go to Home Depot guys BAM here comes one right now he's walking up to our car and uh, what do you know he's wearing a straw hat and he's got facial hair so we know he's gonna be a good worker so the secret to negotiating with this guy these guys is <clears throat> use so much math that you confuse the hell out of them and then they're gonna end up working for practically free so that's what we want all right here he comes <clears throat> let's roll down the windows here Hey, how you doing? Um, Bobby Testicles here. What's your name? My name? My name is Guadalupe. Oh yeah, so uh, great name. So how much do you charge? It's $25 for a blowjob and $100 to go out the way to the moon and back, they say. Orale. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm not here for sexual favors or anything, but uh, I'll, I'll keep you in mind next time, <clears throat> maybe tomorrow. But I'm actually here because I need um, a day laborer to help me out shoot a YouTube video uh, on one of the fixes on the car, and I'm going to need an extra set of hands. Um, and if you want, I, I, I could offer you the going rate, which is about $4 an hour times 2 times 3 and divided by 12. And if you, you go, go with a four hour rate uh, and move it to the uh, and round it off to by the day and a half, and you're looking at an eight hour job, I'm going to pay you about uh, three hours worth with no lunch breaks and, and maybe one coffee break at two minutes, whichever one is less, and divided by three. And then you got about, uh, I'm going to give you about maybe. Um, Thirty dollars for an eight-hour eight-hour shift. How's that? Orale, that's your going rate. Well, let me check my phone really quick, SA. Let me see here. Well, it looks like right here for the going rate for YouTube casting, just for an extra, is a hundred dollars per day within the eight-hour working day per California labor codes, including a thirty-minute lunch break and two fifteen-minute coffee breaks. Ah, uh, just get the fuck in the car. Fuck. What are they? Let's go. So where are you from, Guadalupe? Just trying to break bread with you right now. Trying to make conversation, you know what I mean? It's a 30 minute drive home. Might as well 
do a little chit-chatting while I'm giving you the ride of your life in this awesome Lexus GX460. Oh yeah. So where are you from? Ah, little town in Tijuana, huh? I've been there, I've been there quite a few times. Great donkey shows, by the way. Woo, great donkey shows. Uh, I think the newest thing down there is uh, elbow fisting. It's it's sort of like anal fisting, except it's not your whole hand and forearm. It's using your elbows um, in a vaginal capacity. It's it's the newest it's the newest thing right now. Everybody's doing it. Um, you want to check it out? Go on this website called BlacksOnBlondes.com. I don't I don't go on that website. It's I I've heard from a friend. A friend of a friend that told me about that website. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. I I'm not into shit like that. No, I I, I cannot fathom the idea of anybody wanting to stick their elbow up somebody else's ass. And that's that's just not my thing. I'd like to try it, but I'm I'm not a fan of it. Um yeah. So we are almost home here. And maybe when our, we go drive back, maybe when I drive you back to Home Depot, we can continue that conversation about that $25 blowjob. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. No, just kidding. I'm not into that kind of shit. Nope. Nope. I'm a good Christian. I'm a good Christian. All righty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Holy shit balls, Batman. Stop. Stop right there. Let me see your fucking hands. Jesus Christ! Get the fuck out of my car! Alright guys, me and Guadalupe wanted to show you guys a little bit of advice for your GX460. If you guys ever went out to your car and take a look at your seatbelt section right here, you're going to find out this whole entire carpet area. It's, it's all felt. It's made out of felt and fur right here. It's all covered with dirt and grime, okay? And there's a reason why. Whenever you guys reach over to grab your seatbelt or put your seatbelt away, your hands are covered with a lot of dirt and oil and, and whatnot, and you don't ever notice this because this is not an area that you typically pay attention to. But if you go out to your car right now, I swear to you, I swear to you, you're gonna find a lot of dirt right here and it looks really nasty. The reason why mine looks super clean is because I keep mine all the way to the top. Keep it all the way to the top and there's a reason why. If you notice this section under right here is made out of plastic. It's non-porous plastic so it's very easy to clean. You can wipe down with alcohol and a rag and it's and everything just goes away. Uh, but if you keep it down here and if you keep grabbing your seatbelt, especially your passenger side, nobody gives a shit about your car except you, right? So your passenger is always going to grab their seatbelt and they're always going to hit this felt part right here. Keep this at the highest point, go to your passenger side, keep it at its highest point, go back to your middle row and keep it at its highest point. So every single passenger, whenever they grab their seatbelt, they're gonna hit the plastic. They will always touch the plastic, which is cleanable, and not touch your felt. The felt is the part that's gonna be hardest to clean. Okay, so this is a new tip and trick by GX Bob. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace. Mm.